I love it when the sound guys turn the music off so everybody knows exactly what's going on on stage. It's like a little documentary film behind the scenes in addition to the show itself. So it's like a little something extra for your money. You get to see what fans actually do right before they play. When it's nice and quiet and everybody's paying close attention. It's, it's cool. It's like they, they see if the amp is working. So they goddamn they sarcastic. They plug the guitars in. Jeez. They put the microphones in the right place. It's like all of the exciting things that go into rock and roll. If only you had known this before, your lives would have been so much more exciting and uh, enriched. Enriched. <laughs> then you do this sort of thing where um, you have to twist the the screw and then move the thing and then tighten it because if you just move it without twisting it, then the thing breaks. You learn that after a hundred shows or so, after a few broken, uh, after a few broken mic stands. Then there's the old twisteroo on the head of the microphone, so the cable twists around. See, most clubs, you sort of hear, uh, you know, you would hear some indie rock going on while that's happening to distract you. You might hear some, I don't know, whatever in kind of indie rock they play in those places. Little Silver Jews, little Yola Tango, little Sonic Youth. Stuff so you don't know what's happening on stage. But this, this is cool. This is why the triptych is cool. But we heard that this is the last, this is like the end of the triptych. That's a drag. I like, I've never played this place before. It's like I really, I really like this room. It's not, not too big, not too small. You can just talk and people listen. It's amazing. You can be completely unentertaining and everybody's paying total attention as if, uh, it must be that the stage is high, it's well lit. I almost feel bad starting a song now. Things are going so swimmingly. Do you use that expression, swimmingly? Does that make sense in French? Swimmingly. It's an interesting English language expression. Things are going swimmingly. It's a very odd phrase. I don't think swimmingly is an adverb that has any other application. If you go for a swim, it's the verb to swim. You can't even swim swimmingly. It doesn't even have the application in the act of swimming itself. Only something else can go swimmingly. Hey Jack, are you prepared? Because I could talk more. Jack's been prepared for about 15 minutes. He thinks I'm crazy. I've got no backup, no safety net in. So why am I betting these kinds of stakes? It's so confusing, winning or losing. And I've made so many mistakes. Is it a gamble to let life ramble? Like water downhill, I just take the best deal. The wind is blowing, signs and omens.
dressed in brown, the king of Saturn. He looked like a purple psychedelic pattern. His heart went ting when she did her thing, and before long she was walking off with Saturn's ring. She traveled from the future to the distant past, killed a fly which made her first guy become her last. Turned yesterday to know her day with some few goon, and said the past is just some future that arrived too soon. I'm 
pointing straight down, shooting at the earth again. Oh, now I am more happy, and I wish I was more happy. If I was a little smarter, if I worked a little harder, if I got a little focus, my emotions in the brain, they'll always be the same. It's just chemicals and clocks. What chemicals and clocks? And what you got is what you got. What you got is what you got. And you just apply it to whatever's passing by. Guitar pick that I could not keep in my grip It's like all the love I lose If I can never fill the shoes But it's just because I have no peace Then I think every minute of every day I have the choice To wish things could be better Or if my things aren't worse And maybe every minute of every day We have the choice To wish things could be better Or if my things aren't worse And maybe every minute of every day We have the choice To say things could be better Or to say things could be worse And I think a fly fixes She's probably like this But it's hard to get too bored When you pick the right two boards And you keep on strumming And if you don't know what's coming So, as some of you know, I make these films to go along with certain songs of mine. I call them low-budget videos. And uh, I was, uh, a couple months ago, I was contacted by some people that were doing a Nirvana tribute show for what would have been Kurt Cobain's 40th birthday. And they asked me to do some songs from the Nirvana album Bleach. They were having different musicians do different Nirvana songs from different albums. Schwervon did some, and... Uh, the Dream Bitches, I think, some other New York bands, maybe Toby Goodshank, and um, I did these three songs from Bleach, and I decided rather than perform them uh, musically, I would do low-budget videos for them, so this is a Nirvana video that I made. This is for a song called Big Cheese from the Bleach album. Yeah. <clears throat> and it, uh, the other thing uh, about doing illustrated versions of Nirvana lyrics is that uh, Kurt's lyrics really make no sense at all, so uh, when you draw them, you, uh, you end up with uh, strange things. Big cheese, make me! Mine says, go to the office! Big cheese, make me! Mine says, what the hell? Black is black, no trading back. We were enemies. She eats glue, how about you? Those are all the lyrics Kurt wrote for Big Cheese. I can get Dave from the Wave Pictures to play some ukulele. We'll do some more songs.
Sweatshirt makes the window soft. If I fall asleep, don't wake me up. Roll bus, roll, take me up. Thank you. 
night, cloudy light will creep over my old house. And in the chair where I once sat, someone new is there, and they'll stare at that wall. And we're all parts of an alphabet. Stony words in these spots were at. And the big round blue boat drifts around in the dark.
say about this destination, the way it treats us today. At school they give you shit, drop you in the pit. You try and try and try and get out, but you can't cause they fuck you about that. You're a prime example of how they must not be. This is just a sample of what they've done to you and me. Do they owe us a living? Of course they do, of course they do. Do they owe us a living? Of course they do, of course they do. Do they owe us a living? Of course they fucking do. But they don't want me anymore cause I threw it on the floor. They used to call me sweet thing, but I'm nobody's way of thing. And now that I am different, they love to bust my head. They love to see me cop out, they love to see me dead. But do they owe us a living? Of course they do, of course they do. Of course they owe us a living. Of course they do, of course they do. They owe us a living. Of course they fucking do. But the living that is owed to me, I'm never gonna get. They fucker this whole world up, up to their necks and dead. They give you a lobotomy for something you ain't done. They'll make you an epitome of everything that's wrong. But do they owe us a living? Of course they do, of course they do.
Psychedelic, it keeps it interesting, keeps it exciting. My albums are out of place and shows, strange things have all happened Some people heard my old ass and song, you seem to take it kind of wrong. Oh, yeah, I'm pretty sure that I'm getting that's the kind of like that. But maybe drug inventions has got in drug inventions. Forgetting you to give me some was not my intention. We don't want no LSD tonight. We'll see if that bass and drummer's still working. Check it out, we play the show in Capitol Hill. Some people just like it after they'll get back to you. I did try ecstasy one time, and one night I drank some codeine, pop syrup, and some syrup. 
Uh, this is for a song called Mr. Mustache. Yeah. Written by Nirvana, and just like Big Cheese, the lyrics uh, seem to make no sense when you listen to the song, but as soon as you illustrate them and make a low-budget video out of them, you realize that they make perfect sense. <laughs> so this is, I'm sure, exactly what Kurt meant all along when he wrote this song, Mr. Mustache. I listened to it in high school. I never knew. And then when I thought about it, and I drew it, it was all very clear. I'm gonna have to start doing this for like pavement lyrics, because those make no sense at all. <laughs> next time, next time I'll have 10 pavement videos. Well, I don't know, maybe one, I'll see. I don't wanna turn into like a guy who just does drawings for other people's songs, but it's so easy, there's so many songs in the world, I don't have to write them, I just draw other people's. <laughs> Fill me in on your new vision. Wake me up with indecision. <laughs> Teach me with your mighty wisdom. Yes, I eat cow, I am not proud. Show me how you question, question. Lead the way to my temptation. <laughs> Take my hand and give it cleaning. Yes, I eat cow, I am not proud. Is he in an easy chair? Poop as hard as rock. I don't like you anyway. Seal it in a box. I'm you. Those are all the lyrics Kurt wrote for Mr. Mustard. <laughs> Seems as though the clock is ticking and time is running out. They said the show has to stop by 11. It's been a fantastic evening of music. Cheese on Bread all the way from New York City. The Wave Pictures all the way from England. Lisa Lewand all the way from uh, the other part of Paris uh, to this part of Paris. And uh, fantastic sets by everybody. I think some of the best sets I've seen by any of those bands and I've seen them play a lot of times. Um, and what are we going to do here? Hmm? Uh, all right, I don't know if I can pull that one off. man. Jack always has the difficult request. He, he likes to uh, E minor. Hmm. E minor. What is this E minor business? Oh, I don't know, man. That's a tough. One. Never ask your brother for the request because he he, uh, he has the, the really hard ones. Anybody? Uh, you shoot the head, you kill the goo. Cool. Yeah. All right. Well, maybe one quiet song and then uh, a loud song.
Bar. Sifting.
Thanks a lot. Good night.